Have you ever wondered what a qualitative descriptive design is? Well, let's dive in. Picture it as a method that aims to provide a comprehensive summary of an event in the everyday terms of those events. Sounds simple, right? But there's more to it. What sets qualitative descriptive design apart is that it doesn't follow pre-existing rules. Instead, it's like a detective piecing together a puzzle, where codes are generated from the data itself. This approach is purely data-derived, meaning it's all about the raw, untouched data. It's an exploration without a map, a journey of discovery that draws from naturalistic inquiry. This supports a commitment to studying something in its natural state, as far as possible within the research arena. And the best part, there's no manipulation of variables, no theoretical view attached. That's your introduction to the qualitative descriptive design. It's all about deriving data in its purest form without any manipulation. Now that you know what a qualitative descriptive design is, what sets it apart from other research designs? Let's dive into the unique features of this approach. One key characteristic is that it draws heavily from naturalistic inquiry. This means it's all about studying things in their most natural state, as untouched and unaltered as possible. There's no manipulation of variables, no preconceived notions, just pure observation and analysis. Another distinguishing feature is that it doesn't commit to any theoretical view of a target phenomenon. Unlike some research designs that adhere strictly to a grounded theory or phenomenological approach, a qualitative descriptive design is open, flexible, and grounded in the data itself. It's about capturing the essence of an event an experience or a phenomenon, as it is, in its most raw, unfiltered form. So, the distinguishing feature of a qualitative descriptive design is its commitment to capturing an event or phenomenon in its most natural, unaltered state. You might be wondering why choose a qualitative descriptive design over other research methods. Well, let's dive into that. This design is most useful in situations that call for a straightforward, unembellished description of a phenomenon. Imagine, for instance, you're studying the daily routines of professional athletes. You're not interested in developing a theory or exploring their inner psyche. You just want to describe in as much detail as possible what their day looks like. That's where qualitative descriptive design shines. It doesn't manipulate variables. It doesn't commit to any theoretical view. It simply describes. It's like a camera capturing the world as it is without any filters or special effects. So whether you're studying the behaviors of a rare bird species or the daily routines of a community, this design provides a clear detailed snapshot of the phenomenon at hand. And there you have it. When you want an unvarnished, straightforward description of a phenomenon, a qualitative descriptive design is your go-to method. Until next time, keep asking questions and keep exploring.